Hi, I'm Arion. This is Book Zealots, and I have two books from the library. Library book sale. I had a voucher, and then another one was 25 cents, but I paid 50 because the voucher could have been used for either one, so I paid more because I love the library, and the two ladies that work there are so sweet. Anyway. She has her mother's laugh, The Powers, Perversions, and Potential of Heredity by Carl Zimmer. Now, fascinatingly enough, the, there's crisper information in here, so of course I had to grab it because I want to read the Code Breaker. I think it's whatever. Uh, the Code Breaker by Walter Isaacson. And I think it's fascinating how certain things seem to be hereditary but you think that they might be uh, environmental so in like nature versus nurture type thing uh, whether or not certain ch whether or not children behave certain ways just because their dad does it or just because their mom does it or is it something deeper is it in their DNA that they you know, smile weird or that they can only, I don't know, just weird stuff like that, right? There's a look that, I'm not even going there. Anyway, so I'm looking forward to this book. And then the other one is How Shall We Live by Charles Colson and Nancy Piercy. I have no idea what this book is about. Um, I just... I don't know if I, I, it's a Christian book, and I don't know if I read the back of it. Anyways, it says, expose the false views and values of modern culture, live a more fulfilling life the way God created us to live, contend for the faith by understanding how non-believers think, and build a society that reflects biblical principles. Something that I found really fascinating on Goodreads was, Somebody who gave it a bad review said he considers himself a Christian, but according to this, he isn't. And I thought, that's interesting, because was it the book that's wrong? Or is it the reviewer that's wrong? So I'm definitely excited to dive into this. This is a bit of a chunker, and I think it's going to have to be piecemealed, just nibbled a little at a time. It is not a mammoth, which is over 800 pages. It is definitely a big book for Big Book Summer. However, I don't think I will get it read in time. It's 574 pages without notes, <clears throat> and... 656, 57 with notes and the author note. Anyway, so those are my two books that I just recently got. So that means that I overextended my book buying or book bringing in for the month of May. Which means I probably won't get to bring any books in for June. But that's okay. I'm okay with that because I have a lot of stuff to do around the house and a lot of reading that I need to do. Anyway, if you know anything about these books or if any of them sound fascinating to you, please leave a comment down below or just say hello. Bye.